the car. Too. I've heard that excuse. <laughs> Good here, timing, here Joanne. Co- here comes Ed now down the hallways here. Uh, Mr. Sherry. Yay. How are you, buddy? Hey. Smiling. Hey. He's happy. Hey. Good. How are you? Come on in. <laughs> how you been, bud? Good. How about you? Where's Graham? Graham, yeah, Graham's Graham's at home. Graham, Graham has a bowel problem at the moment. Oh yeah. no! Did Graham get into a, a, something that he? No, wasn't Graham's to... Graham's been eating um, a uh, uh, cat food, but he's meant to be eating kitten food. And oh. uh, in the middle of the night, you just hear these uh, bowel sounds, yeah. and then this smell erupts into the oh, room. That's terrible! Like I'm staying in a very small. My my flat's been <laughs> done up at the moment, so I'm staying in a very small confined space. Right. And um, yeah, it does smell. But I've got a lot of wet wipes, and I, I wipe him down and make him clean. You're a good father. Yeah. You are yeah. a good daddy. He doesn't like it though. I think he. I think well, he. Now you didn't mean to buy the wrong food, the cat food. You meant no, to no. My I basically live in my manager's house at the moment. Oh. And he has uh-huh. two big cats uh, who yeah. um, Graham lions. looks up to, and uh, uh. he's got big lions running uh. around. <laughs> yeah. Well, good to have you, with, man. Thanks nice for coming back. in. Ed, uh, we were talking about you the last uh, a couple of shows here on the air, and you were you were at Elton's Oscar party. Yes, where you, you got up there, and here's a little. If you missed this, this is Candle in the Wind. Elton John, Sir Elton John, and Sir Ed Sheeran. <laughs> When you're standing up there, and I know you guys have met before, yeah, and you're you're looking at Elton's eyes and you're singing along. It's got to be an incredible, <laughs> surreal moment. Well, right? I, I wasn't actually told I was doing that, and really, I, no, I, none of my none of my team knew about it as well. Like I went to rehearse that day. And Elton turned up and was like, oh, I'm going to get on the piano and, and jam a song. What, what do you want to play? And I was like, <laughs> Candle in the Wind? And he was like, yeah, of course. And um, we played it. And he's like, right, cool. So that'll be second to last song of the set. Then. And I was like, oh. It's not like you, you can't say, no, hold, I, can we, uh, we didn't talk about this. You, yeah. you can't really do that with him. Well, I suggested Indian Sunset first, but he, he said an expletive word very angrily. <laughs> and and that's when you know to back off. Yeah. So he spent most of uh, 2013 out on the road. Didn't you spend a lot of time out on the road with Taylor? Yeah, I was, I was in America for 11 and a half months which as an Englishman is quite a quite a tough thing to do what, what, what did you what did you think of our tea. what did you think um, of our country I love it I love it I lived in I lived in Nashville for six months I lived in LA for three months New York for two and yeah it was uh it was good. Were you writing stuff while you were traveling, or were you giving it a break then? No, I wrote. Um, I wrote a lot of stuff. I wrote the whole of this next record. I wrote the whole of the next and the whole of the next. So yeah, it's, you, um, wow. which, how many have you done then? Well, over the course of a year, I did around 120 songs. Oh, so, um, so yeah. we, we Ed Sheeran is done. I'm done. He can I'm retire. Done. I'm done. Done, done. But I heard. I heard Bob Bob Marley's whole career was uh, based off songs that he wrote in a two year period. And then he right? just released them over his. And life. how is it that you can come up with a hundred plus songs in a time span like that? Um. America's one of these countries where you have a lot of experiences and meet a lot of new people. So, um, yeah. You, so would you, you say just... that this next album is based on your, your American experience? Yeah, I'd say. Oh, a, really? A, a large amount of it. Like, it's not, it's not just like sweet rapping about rope chains and stuff, but <laughs> it's, you know, it's uh, <laughs> definitely about the, you know, there's, 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 there's songs that are inspired by Nashville and stuff like that. So would you say it's more geographical or, or people-based? Um, it's more more people based, yeah. It's more people based, and I took more influence from um, music here. Um, yeah, I and I, I I got to work with a lot of a lot of very cool people over here, producers wise. I was uh, I was showing my ankle to Kevin, and he was telling me that you're you're, you're getting more tattoos, that you're gonna mm. you're, you're getting uh, a whole nother sleeve done. Yeah, that's uh, gonna I just got sort a of teddy bear actually. Oh, is that is, oh, is he insp- oh, oh so that's cute. so look at, yeah. like you needed more cuteness, Ed. He's chilling. Look at that. So he's on his bicep too. Yeah. Now, it's any make, of this makes it a bit bit more manly. Is, <laughs> is any of this Kevin Paul of course is tattoo artist. Mm-hmm. Is any of this uh related to the album? Uh yeah, a lot of it is actually what? like this song Bloodstream. That's wow. the song. Um these are, actually it's more it's more it's more this arm's more related to albums. This arm's more related to family like um yeah. The boxing gloves were for my granddad and the Matisse was for my mum and yeah. And it's just your arms? Just my arms, yeah. Just my arms. I did see an amazing tattoo of Pinocchio around someone's crotch the other day, <laughs> and their nose was. Yeah. Who's, yeah. Uh, whose well, crotch was that? I just saw it on on online. Weird did, places did to get tattoos. Did the nose tattoos. grow when you took a look? That's all I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was a it was a picture, so you didn't see below okay, Pinocchio. Oh, I right. just I just quite like the idea that would be a good chat up line, wouldn't it? You'd walk into a bar and be like. I could you know, make me lie and see what happens. Basically. Yeah, and I think it would be an insult if Pokio wasn't lying, wouldn't it? All right. All right, we'll come back with Ed Sheeran here in just a second. 1-800-520-1027. Ellen with a little bit of sleaze. What do you have, Ellen? Well, who do you think is the uh, 
buffest, girthiest One Direction member? Um, I think it's obvious. How do you, how do you, uh, what's the category for buffest and girthiest? I guess like um, a muscle, the, the, the most well muscled. Um, I don't know. If it would be Liam. Well, really? I think it's Liam. Liam. You know that Liam. Um, <laughs> do they do they do they bench press? Well, you know Liam does because he, he finds that the gym therapeutic, yeah. and yeah, that's no. when he gets stressed out. He goes there. But, I mean, a lot of people use the gym, but it doesn't mean they're like buffed up. It just means they're in good shape. I think uh, that's but, true. I don't um, know. But he was we also. We didn't say her sleaze of... reports are accurate. Yeah. Right, You're giving okay. us too much credit. Okay. <laughs> so so it, it's therapeutic. Yeah. His, yeah. Yeah. His trainer said that when he was with him recently, he went all day on just coffee and Kit Kat bars. Well, For several five days in a row, it's not healthy it's at not all, healthy. right? And then he'd go to the gym and pump iron, but that um, he felt his muscles and he's got like a twelve pack on his abs, and yeah. yeah, that he's got really nice muscle definition. See the way that I um, measure. Um, buffness for yeah. me is uh, I have a I have a one pack is actually very impressive but like um, I <laughs> I go through rolls on on my stomach like I started out with 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 three rolls which is you know a good a, a good amount of beer and and, uh -huh. and stuff like that but then the more you drink and the more you eat you get two rolls and then you have one roll and then it's just one gut <laughs> yeah if you um, keep if you keep pushing the bloat <laughs> it just ends up laying as a, a, a but full sheet you end up having like a really tough gut so it's like it's having great. a six pack but it's a one pack <laughs> it's so much better yeah. don't tell the guys in one direction they'll be all over it. Hang on. Yeah. Well, I think I think they'd enjoy themselves more if they didn't just eat Kit Kat and drink coffee. Like, who wants to do that? Eat a burger now and then, man. Come on. We'll come back in sixty seconds and pay a bill. Hang on. Morning, Manny is. I don't know if you if, if Temple City was an inspiration to any of your songs, but that's not far from here. <laughs> I just went right over my head. So uh, Temple yeah. Manny's. A, there's a guy in Temple City, which is not far from where we're sitting here today. Okay. And Manny, what are you doing there? Yeah. Kiss FM. All right. Ed Sheeran is planted in our stool. Yes. <laughs> and a lot of listen, a lot of people anxious to talk to you. Let me grab some of these calls and thank you guys for holding on. One eight hundred five two oh one oh two seven. Lupe is in Pomona. Lupe. Hi. You're on with Ed Sheeran. Go ahead. Hi, Ed. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Um, I'm a really big fan of yours. I just wanted to say Thank you. And I I just want to say like I can't thank you enough for like what your lyrics have like have helped me with so thank you for that and i think it is incredible how you're able to like just hush like arenas like get them to be quiet oh, while you. you sing like unplugged like that's just amazing nice one thank th thank you very much lupe and uh awesome. cool. <laughs> thanks <laughs> lupe. i would imagine you hear that a lot where, where people say you know your lyrics have helped me through something i could really relate to them um, yeah, I just don't, I don't really know, because uh, the, the, the lyrics I write are so personal to, to, to me. I, I'm quite, I'm quite a selfish songwriter in that, in that point. I, like, um, I was always told that, that like, um, the way to failure was to please other people and there was no key to success. So I just always did songwriting for me. Um, so when people say they relate to it, it's, um, it's always a bit of a shock because you, you're so introverted with writing music that when you release a song you don't really know how people are going to take it and then they're like oh I went through the same experience and it's yeah. a, bit of a bit of a shock yeah well a lot of people I think have been through similar things <laughs> Alyssa you're on with us Alyssa's 15 hey Alyssa hi hey Alyssa hi. um I was wondering why like what made you think of making your cat Graham a Twitter account uh, making my cat a Twitter account. Um, yes. My cat has a lot to say, um, <laughs> and uh, and some things that my cat say says uh, would not be um, acceptable for me to say. So uh, my cat can vent his feelings through his Twitter, and sometimes I agree with them. <laughs> sometimes. Thanks for calling, uh, Chelsea. Go ahead in Los Angeles. You're on with Ed Sheeran. Oh hi! Oh my God! Um, I just wanted to know what is your worst habit that you are willing to admit. Uh. I just gave it up, actually smoking. I, I, yeah, I. I um, How did you do it? Well, I. Um, it sounds bad to say, but I. I, I turned twenty three two weeks ago and realised I've been sounds smoking terrible. for ten years. And Ooh. yeah, wow. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> decided to decided to knock it on the head. Yeah, I relapsed a little bit at the Oscars, but uh -huh. I think that was I think that was fine. Cold well, turkey, like no no smoke, no stop smoking AIDS or gums or anything like that. No, no, I just gone just gone cold turkey. Uh -huh. I, I have a lot of friends that are very very um, vocal about uh -huh. how they feel about it. You know, uh -huh. so, Chelsea, thanks for calling. Thank you, Chelsea. Bye. No problem. It was wonderful talking to you. Bye. You too. See you later. So when when you're out and you're touring, as we just heard, you can get an entire arena to stop what they're doing. Yeah. And you can hear a pin drop when you go into to some of your, your music. We also know that you play a cover here or there, mm. you know, when, when you're out on tour. So is there something that you've been working on that, uh, that that's, that's current, that's new, that's a cover maybe? Uh, 
I might forget the words because I'm not quite I'm not quite there finishing it, but um it's um I've been drinking, I've been drinking. <laughs> I get filthy when the look is in me, baby. I've been drinking, I've been drinking. Got me fitty, 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 baby. I want you. Nah, nah. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Beyonce, Ed Sheeran doing some Beyonce, oh, yeah, Jay Z. Love it. I, I wanted to do. Have you have you heard that song, Partition? I have, but we we haven't really played it. I think there's a reason. Well, no, there may be a reason. The first line is, uh, "I don't want you to see Beyonce on her knees." That might be why. <laughs> she prays a lot, obviously. Yeah, clearly, yes. she's very religious. <laughs> yeah. She's got those great thighs. I don't, I'm on her diet, so I know. Yeah, it's I, all vegan yeah, now. I started, it's her diet. It's all vegan. I'm doing 22 days of, of only vegan eating. See, Rick uh, Rubin was, uh, said he was vegan for 20 years, and uh, apparently it's one of the most unhealthy things you can do. Yeah, like, good. So if, if, if you're going to do anything, have a balanced, healthy diet. Perfect. Uh -huh. That's why I'm sticking everything, to this. Everything in moderation. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm going to do 22 days, and then I'm going to go to this all meat and bacon diet. Oh, that sounds healthy, see, that, too. See, that works. See, I, I'm, on, I'm on my fried diet at the moment. If it's fried, I'll... <laughs> do you, well, what you generally? I mean, I have friends who are English, and yeah. they love uh, they love a was it the what's the sandwich you guys eat in the morning? The bacon sandwich? Uh, Do you eat yeah, that? we call it a bacon butty. A, a bacon. That I'm thing. not quite sure why. Yeah, but, but what no. is that? It's fried bread and bacon. No, it's just bread, it's bacon, just, ketchup, or HP sauce that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, HP sauce we call brown sauce. You oh. need it over here. It's 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 special. <laughs> but um, no, what I found like um, uh, l l California as a state has like they love like exercise and and health, but I find like in when my friends in England see me doing healthy stuff, it's like the worst thing in the world. So I went on a hike the other day and everyone out, out my friends just thought I was an, in, You've in, changed. an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and, no. uh, so yeah, I just find like, it's, it's the, I think the coolest thing to do in England anyway is to, is to eat like what you want and drink what you want. And do you not go to the gym in England? No, I did for a bit, and then I just didn't really enjoy myself. Like, yeah, it no, wasn't, that, yeah. It that wasn't happens. A fun, <laughs> fun, fun life. I think, I think I'll, it. I'll eventually have a day where I have to be healthy to stay alive. <laughs> but, but right, right now, like, I, I, I do my, I do my doctor checkups, and they're like, your, 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 your arteries are fine, your breathing's fine. Yeah. So, like, I think I've got at least ten more years of like By killing way, my body. He'd rather give up smoking than have to go to the gym just to add a couple more years, right? To not uh, having to work out. Yeah, but I mean, like, I don't know. I'm, I've, I'm, I have never and will never sell records based on my look. So I should not try and like mold my body into some sort of a donna shape if I don't want the, to. The ladies are in love with all of it. Mm -hmm. So um, oh, thank you. Well, That's right. Congrats and, and a guy over here. Congratulations, <laughs> Ed Sheeran. Uh, continued success, bro. We appreciate you coming thank by. Thank you for having me. Good to see him. <laughs>